So I joined PayPal probably about two years ago, and when I came in, I did my rounds. I talked to all the developers and the leadership, and really trying to understand what are the pain points in the environment. And the number one thing I heard over and over again, especially from our developers, is that it's just really, really hard to get work done here. And that was that sentiment was the impetus behind the transformation that we have been leading at PayPal over the past two years. So I've been at PayPal for about six months now. And we're moving to an inner source model. And what that is, is is really an open source internally within PayPal to make our distributed teams a lot more effective. So as a global company, how can we get teams across different domains contributing to different projects, fixing bugs, and being a lot more productive? It ruffled feathers. Folks were very used to um, having their domain. You know, so I write the content, then I lob it over the wall to the UI folks, and they write it up in HTML, and they lob it over the wall to the design folks who wrap it up in CSS. And if you want to change something, oh boy, you got to talk to all those teams and tap, 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 tap. Um, we changed all that. There is a lot of open source kind of um, culture uh, that's brewing inside PayPal. Uh, everybody is free to send PRs into other projects if they think something can be done better, contribute ideas, file issues, and I think it's great. And this is uh, kind of uh, bringing in like a lot of good, positive direction to all the projects that are happening in PayPal. So from 2011 when I joined, very proprietary, you know, here's a framework, it's been worked on for five years, built internal, take, you know, uh, two weeks or three weeks of classes to just last week or a couple weeks ago, I had in the same week two new hires start at 9 o'clock in the morning and by 1 o'clock in the evening they had checked in their first code, completely were able to understand the whole stack because it was all open source based and uh, make their first commit. So we use Scala at PayPal um, and to us it's, it's the next generation of, of Java. Um, so it's really about taking the best pieces of Java, um, the community, the libraries around it, uh, but bringing in functional programming. So it's a paradigm shift, but it does allow us to use all of our Java history with Scala, uh, but it makes our engineers a lot more productive. It's a lot more of a fun language to learn um, and develop against, and so you don't have that massive ferocity of, of Java, and you have nice, clean code that's easy to read, um, and very, very uh, much a functional language. We had roughly three products a year that we were rolling out new products. Last year, in 2013, we um, launched 58 new products. So far in the first half of 2014, we've launched 47 new products. So the speed and the innovation that we are seeing within our development community and the amount of open source that we've been able to both contribute to as well as bring into our environment has increased dramatically just by um, transforming the way that we get our work done. What I've heard over and over again was, we really want to break through this, we really want to make change. What I didn't see until I got to PayPal was a real commitment to do whatever it takes to get there, including really changing the culture, really getting rid of the stuff that's in the way of being the absolutely best engineering company that could possibly be through use of radical transparency. And I'm really excited to be here and, and help make this change happen, and I'm really looking for people that want to join us. So this, this little video showed a lot about uh, cultural change, inner sourcing, taking the open source model and trying to bring it into companies and breaking down those silos. Denise, tell me more about how you actually did that internally or how you're helping facilitate it. Well, you know, I came into PayPal to work on external open source, as I'd been doing around the playground for a few years now. And um, when we got inside, it was really clear that uh, they needed to use open source inside the company. And um, this isn't the sexiest topic usually for open source uh, activists. I mean, I've been walking away from it from a long, for a long time, but I have to say it, it's because of their commitment to actually getting it right that it's exciting to do. I think it's going to help them 
break down their silos by making engineers, uh, encouraging them to become committers on multiple projects, making all the code available to everybody. Mm -hmm. But I also think that it's really going to help them be better open source citizens on their external projects. So I'm really looking forward to it. So you're seeing, are you already seeing ways to um, make it easier things, easier to get things done? Edwin, I know you've been with PayPal for a while. You're a fellow there. Have you seen a big change? Yeah, you know, I think that, that you know, the keys around open source and really around this inner source model as well is trust and transparency. And those are the kinds of things that you need in any environment, whether that's inside of a company or inside of a community, like Tim was talking about earlier, to really sort of allow people to take their passions and express that through code and through activism and through various inter interesting ways. And I think that, you know, as part of our cultural transformation, what we've been able to do is take people's passion, whether that's in their own area, whether that's fixing something that they're seeing somewhere else in the company, or whether that's going off and playing with some brand new project that they that they want to go and pursue, and now finally being able to have the tools and the environments and the culture that lets us do that. Mm -hmm. Josh, I heard that you have a fun story of like really whatever it takes to change. You were one of those catalysts. So tell us your story. Um, so I came into PayPal a couple of years ago through an acquisition, and I showed up on the first day sort of very nervous about what I was going to find. And um, there was a bit of delight. Oh, there's a GitHub Enterprise install. Fantastic. <laughs> I'm going to poke through the code, and I found the, uh, the PayPal iOS app, and I figure I'll tinker a little bit. And uh, I went to build it, and there were like 50 build warnings. And I was like, oh, that's not going to fly. So <laughs> I went through, and I fixed all the build warnings. Um, and I sent a pull request, and there was a flurry of panicked emails and meeting requests. And what did you just do? And who, I got this email, and what is it? And inside the company, GitHub Enterprise had basically been used sort of like SVN or, or ClearCase. Um, and so there was a lot of working out of that. So this radical, radical transparency was not at all what anyone was expecting. But we fixed it, and, and pull requests are now one of the standard Deriger ways to make changes. To interact and go across the teams. Um, so how, how do you take this new transparency and translate it to um, moving things faster and finding that urgency around getting things done, Denise? Well, you know, we, we sort of famously have started using Node.js, and um, that was a project where Bill Scott talked about the, just how much faster they could move and how much they schooled the rest of that part of PayPal yeah. in, wow, these tools really do make you more productive. Um, I think that religion has definitely taken hold, and as we pay down our technical debt, we're totally picking up open tools and making them work at our scale, yeah. and, and then we're starting to give that back because um, we think there are other companies that want to do this too. So we've got the internal doing it right, doing it better and improving it. Um, well, and getting them to work outside the company on one tree instead of having a separate one inside, that's a really big piece of it. So yeah, not having split views and not holding things internally. So this is, this is all moving forward internally and, and we're seeing external commitments and such. It, are we there yet? Is there a way that people can see what's going on inside PayPal? And you know, I, I, I think we're, we're, we're well on our way, but we're certainly not there yet. Mm -hmm. you know, I think that we've made really great contributions to the Node.js community with things like Kraken and the OpenStack community with some of the things that we're doing there. Um, but clearly, we've got a long way to go, and I think that there's a ton of great stuff that's still sort of locked behind the walls of PayPal that we'd really love to start being able to share with you guys. Um, and so, you know, I would certainly love to see more of you participating in our GitHub repository at PayPal. I would love to see, you know, you guys coming down and talking to us at the booth and, and, and exploring how you can get involved, um, you know, from where you are and, and in the community as well as, you know, come and join us because we've got some really great stuff that we're doing and we'd love to have you be part of that. Well, that's awesome. Thanks very much for sponsoring OzCon and talking with me also about what you're doing internally. Thanks, <laughs> Thank you. Thank Sarah. you. <laughs>